Hey, Brenda here. Back with uh, another box, another box project. Um, I finished my box, my other box, and I realized um, after looking around, it needs a little lace and things. Um, so I'm going to do a little more uh, girling that up a little. And in the meantime, got my uh, kit from uh, Kathy Orta Kit Club, which is always so exciting to get a box full of toys. And um, so, uh, again, I'm inspired to do something else. <laughs> I always do her stuff, though. Um, but right now, I wanted to actually do something for myself. I want to do a box for myself. Um, so, I saw this paper. This beautiful burgundies and browns and pinks, rose paper, and I'm just um, in love with it. So I'm doing my own box, and um, let's see, in the last kit, uh, I didn't use these trinkets, this brown rose, and this um, looks like a, a, a watch uh, blinged out um, charms, and these are... are amazingly perfect for this. Uh, I'm going to do a girly vintage thing for myself, so I pulled some stuff out of my cupboard and I'm inspired. I'm going to try to make some um, ribbon roses and bows and um, I'm going to use my Forever Young Cartridge and uh, Mother's Day Bouquet and I'm going to uh, make some flowers which I haven't done much of so um, that'll be fun and I'll share that and um, this is the Kathy kit so I'm going to do this um, I don't know if you've seen it um, you can find her at Paper Phenomenon um, on YouTube and Ustream and everywhere in the world I'll put the link in um, I'm going to do this gorgeous Tim Holtz um, newspaper looking stuff inside the box. I'm going to try to do like a little decoupage kind of thing. I, I practiced on an envelope. I'm going to use this, um, my husband's wood glue. It, it looks very antique -y and it dries just right. So I'm going to try that out and I'll, I'll let y'all know how that goes. Um, I started on my box already. I I sand it um, because it's kind of shiny so that it'll take um, what I'm going to do to it. I just do around the edges because I'm going to paper up and I, I did this around the edge. Um, I just inked it. It's really dark and um, I, I wanted it to be dark because then I put this um, gold tempera um, pearl gold over the top so it's kind of kind of see-through so it's brown and gold together and this is how it turned out um, and then I just used you know a paintbrush and, and dabbed it around um, the edge of the box so I'm going to line it with the newspaper stuff um, just in this part and so it turned out you know I really like the way it turned out and the paper will come right up to the edge of that um, so it's kind of a translucent gold over the dark brown, which toned it down just perfect for the, um, so it kind of matches with this part of it. I'm going to look for some kind of cool little lock um, to go on there. And of course in the kit was um, this, I see this on the cover, and I saw this really great technique of um, on a box that someone did, and I'll look it up so I, I can post the link of... Um, they put um, paper, two layers of paper in one area and they tattered it and rolled it back so you could see the paper underneath. So I'm going to do that and so I'm really inspired. Uh, I didn't, didn't have any money to spend right now. My Joann's is getting ready to open new and they, they don't have much in the um, what's left on the shelves. Um, so I'm just using what I have. Um, pulled out some buttons. I'm going to use those for the flowers and um, maybe these little brads for centers. And so I'm just going to pull from my stuff again like I usually do. I'm in love with this paper. I'm going to do a little mini, um, a short story of um, 
my life um, as a bliss since I got married and moved here. and um, So it's just going to be uh, for me. I'm doing something for me. I always do stuff for someone else. So I'll, I'll show the process. I'll show, um, I'm going to watch some videos, YouTube, and I'm going to learn how to make some flowers um, all, all by hand, except for this one really pretty brown rose I've been dying to use. And um, so I'll, I'll keep you guys posted all along. Um, so doing something for me, I love it. Keep scrapping, you guys. I'll be back.